students from here we are starting fluid mechanics and what we say for a fluid a fluid is a substance which can which can flow and which can flow only the liquids and gases can flow so liquid flows and gases flows but there are few more things whose flow we cannot see liquids and gases all the things which are liquid are not necessary to flow at ordinary temperature like glass glass is a liquid glass is a liquid it is a super cool liquid and its flow its flow on the ordinary temperature is very very slow we are able to see its flow in many years the glass of the window which we have in our house that if we install that of uniform thickness then after a few decades its thickness from the bottom side increases and it decreases from the upper side so here by fluids we mean that substances which flow and on the basis of this only we will be studying fluid mechanics fluid statics and fluid dynamics so first of all we see the density what is density what is density and what is relative density so apart from this in the fluids the solids and liquid which can flow what is the difference between them what is the difference between them this we are seeing if we take a solid object and apply a tangential force on it then it will shear in this way its shape changes as we study in the elasticity and in this solid constant stress shearing stress will be developed so here the shearing stress is constant and if you do this for a liquid then liquid will keep on flowing it will be changing its shape continuously liquid if it is at rest then it will be shearing continuously shearing that means in its stress shearing stress will not be constant it cannot sustain a shear stress so we can write cannot sustain a shear stress this is the difference in our fluid liquids and solids that means when you apply tangential force to it then one shape change will be there shape will change and shear stress will be developed in it but liquid cannot oppose your force its shape will keep on changing there will be no stress developed against your force in it it will never develop so in it continuous shearing will be there strain will be developed shearing strain will be there but shearing stress will never be developed so this is one of the biggest difference so now let us see what is density and study more about this topic what is density for any substance density is mass divided by volume mass divided by volume and we we can take the mass in gram kilogram and volume in the meter cube centimeter cube and even in the liters at different places different practices there so we will be seeing this this is mass by volume relative density is used many a times and we should try to understand what is relative density what is relative density let us see the value of 1 liter water how much it is 1 liter water is 1 kg at 4 degree centigrade so in its comparison if you want to take the density of other objects then the density of any substance relative density what it will be it will be density of any substance divided by density of water at 4 degree centigrade it has a direct meaning at 4 degree centigrade if we take 1 liter substance if we take 1 liter water at 4 degree centigrade then what will happen at 4 degree centigrade 1 liter water will be 1 kg 
and suppose you have taken mercury then it will be 13.67 something kg so this means that the relative density of the mercury became 13.6 so if we take it in the comparison of 1 liter of water then the density at 4 degree centigrade we compare it with the density of any substance then we will be getting the relative density and one thing we can see very easily from here the density of the water also changes with the temperature the density of other substances also changes with the temperature it is any substance and here you should remember that the density of a substance is taken at any temperature but the density of water is taken as standard at 4 degree centigrade at the temperature 4 degree centigrade so with this only we compare the density of any other substance with any other temperature and relative density sometimes is also called the specific gravity so we call it as the specific gravity also obviously let me write it here rd is basically specific gravity so let us see more pressure in a fluid we know the definition of the pressure pressure is the force exerted per unit area that is the force per unit area and we if we want to take the force and area in this way then we should take delta f and delta a where delta a is very small we can say limit delta a tends to zero so if you know the value of force at a very small area then there it will be the exerted pressure that force delta f divided by delta a so how a liquid exerts the pressure this we should try to understand if the liquid holds any arbitrary shape suppose the liquid is here in this shape then this liquid also exerts the force on the walls also it exerts pressure and if we assume a surface inside it and to that surface on both the sides liquid exerts equal pressure ultimately on all the places where it comes in contact with the surface so if it exerts it exerts pressure on the surface of the container because it is in contact with it if you have immersed an object inside then in the liquid then there also it will exert pressure on all the surfaces of that object so here pressure becomes force perpendicular to the to that particular surface and that is force per unit area obviously so how do liquids and gases exerts the pressure because here we are seeing all the molecules either they are liquid or gas are in a continuous motion and the wall or the container whom these are in contact with there they collide with them we will be studying it in the kinetic theory of gases then we will come to know how the gases exert the pressure and liquids also in the same manner where they are in contact they exerts the pressure because this is due to the molecules which are in contact with this which are in continuous motion and this pressure how we measure this pressure pressure is at a point we can write pressure at a point is the force force perpendicular to the surface per unit area so the pressure is force that is acting perpendicular to that surface per unit area this is the pressure and we should see the units of pressure unit of pressures are pascal is one of the unit of pressure that is called 1 pascal that is equal to 1 pa in short it is equal to 1.0 newton per meter square and few more units are there 1 bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 pascal 